Okay, so just got the box open. It's got like this cute little, little way that they've got this thing held together, which is fine with me. Imagine one of these is the battery. This is probably the battery. Yep. And the charger. My speculation here. Yep, there it is. I tell you, these chargers are quick, and I really like the fact they've got a little fan blower on them, and the fan blows while the battery's charging, and then when the fan turns off and the light turns green, it, it's charged. Christmas morning with this. As such, if you're looking for a costly or a gift to give someone on Christmas morning, maybe your husband, you're like, hey, if I give him this package, he's going to feel like he's opening a big gift. And really, he's going to be doing some yard work for me. I mean, it's it's a compelling idea. I mean, my opinion is, is that if I own a big multi-million dollar company like Snapper, I'd have someone, you know, from my plant make videos like this for every product we have on YouTube all the time. Why they don't do that kind of thing is beyond me. Man, that's a heavy duty manual right there for a blower. I like all of Snapper's documentation, their manuals, my father was an engineer and loved Snapper products. Always very happy with them. Here's part of the tube and... Wow, that's pretty lightweight. I'm impressed. same on-off button that they have on the chainsaw. You know, I'm just kind of holding that. I mean, obviously there's no battery in it. The tube's not on there, but... That's sharp. Looks like it's like a bayonet type of attachment. Just like stick this in here and turn it, I assume. Yep, locks into place. That's nice as far as uh, portageable, being portable is concerned. We're gonna test this out on, on the walkway behind the house where this squirrel eats all these pecans and all this residue. Uh, falls on some astroturf carpet. It's extremely difficult to sweep. If this stuff, if this thing blows it right up, we're gonna have a winner on our hand. <clears throat> We've been paying these people, ready for this, hundred and ten dollars a month to service the yard, and many times they wouldn't service it, and we would call and complain to the owners, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, our foreman." They were supposed to go by there and they didn't. And then they would, you know, uh, take the charge off. But it was, it happened. We watched it with a trail camera. It happened like four months out of last year. So they were trying to charge us for $440 of non-service. And we had to complain every time. And I was like, you know what? We're not gonna deal with it anymore. So, so we fired them. And they got all fussy, but that's what happens when you charge people for something you're not giving them. So the string trimmer is going to be in here. I want to 
assume. Oh, similar type of stitching on the box. If you're still watching this, I guess thank you. I mean, I don't put ads on my channel, but YouTube has been putting them on there lately. I've learned to really make money on YouTube. You gotta have like millions of views. And if you don't, like a, a video like this will probably one day have, you know, I don't know, 10,000 views on it 10 years later. And even if you're running ad revenue on it, you're gonna make like $2 or something, which is, you know, dumb, but that's how YouTube does it. Probably because they know a lot of the YouTube videos like this are boring of guys cutting open boxes. Guys and pills. You could just say, why don't you just tear the box open? But I don't know. I like sort of being surgical with my box cutting. I'm no surgeon. Just very cute, elaborate uh, box design, a snapper here. Just open from the top. So paid three thirty-five for this plus tax off Amazon, and came in several days later. Could have bought something like this locally, but it was not available locally where I lived. And while it was advertised at Lowe's, they didn't have them in stock. And I was like, well, this is very appealing. So there's the guard. Here's the handle. Here's another, ooh, this is a thick manual, look at that. I'm sure it's multiple languages, but it's nice to see that kind of large font documentation that you can read. You don't have to have a magnifying glass, at least yet for me. I'm sure it's coming in my future. Oh, here's the charger directions, which we already know about from the mower. <coughs> here's the battery directions. Just so you know, this two amp hour battery on my mower usually lasts about 30 minutes. Uh, sometimes it can last 40 minutes, and sometimes if the grass is wet, it'll last about 20 minutes, but typically about 30 minutes, which is fantastic. Well, that's nice. I can hold that one-handed, this portion of it. There it comes with a strap, there's the trigger. The battery goes right in there. What I was impressed with, the very limited video documentation I saw was that the head on this thing is some kind of cast metal. See that? It's really appealing. I also like the fact that line, it goes out on two sides. It would seem to me the dispense head. See that? would be functional compared to others. All right, I'm going to post this to YouTube real quick and then do some uh, work with it. I'll post that in a separate video with a link in the description once I have that done. Thanks for watching.